You make me feel like there's blue skies and sunshine and everything will be alright. Cause I never have to worry. You always push me to. Hey guys, so you go to your internet, which is your Safari, and then you go to Google, and then you type in whatever background you would like. Um, for this one, I'll type in pink backgrounds. You can type in black backgrounds, um, bright backgrounds, anything you like. So I'm just looking through the pink backgrounds to choose a background that I like. And as you can see, there's multiple pink backgrounds. Um, there's backgrounds with patterns, dark pink backgrounds, clouds. It's a lot of backgrounds that I can choose from. So you just want to look through the backgrounds to make sure you choose the perfect one for your intro. This is the one that I'll choose. You just press down and save. And then I'll go to iMovie my pictures and choose the photo that I selected which is the pink one once it download you want to pull out to 20 minutes I meant 20 seconds guys only because you don't know how long you want your intro to be and you want to leave some room so you see how the photo is moving you want to click on it and then click can burn so it won't move so I'm going to show you and then you're going to save it. Ken Burns will stop it from moving. It will just make it a picture instead of a video, a moving video. So you save it to your photos. Wait for it to upload. And then I like to go into my YouTube app. I'm going to click on green screen. Well, look up green screen because we'll need this later on in the video. And then you're just going to look through the green screen subscribe buttons and choose whichever one you like. There's a lot of them, so you can get creative and choose whichever one you would like. And then you just screen record. And once you finish screen, screen recording, you it saves directly to your photos. So this is how you edit it. You go to your photos and you click edit and you just crop everything out to make sure that the YouTube or anything is not showing. So once you do that, you just play it over and over again to make sure it's the look that you desire. And as you can see, I still have a little bit of cropping to do because it's stuffed in the way. So I'll just continue to crop as you guys see because the top of the video was still in there so I had to crop it out so I'll just keep playing it over and over see you see that where it's at the top so I'll just crop that part out when you go back to edit and you push crop and you just crop it out so I'll just play it over and over until I get the look that I want to make sure that the top part is not in. So now I go back to Google and I type in Twitter PNG because you will also need a Twitter PNG for the video later on. So basically right now I'm just gathering everything we need for the video later on. And then I'll show you how to piece it all together. So you look for the P Twitter PNG that you like and I pick circle Twitter PNG because I just think it looks better. So yeah, this is the PNG I'm going to use. So you save it once again to your photos. And then um, you type in iPhone PNG. And you will also need this later on in the video. So you just look through the iPhones that you like. And you choose one. And you also save that to your photos so i think i'm going to go with this one and save it to my photos then i'm going to go to video lab and i'm going to click mixer and choose the video that 
we started with, which is the pink picture. So you can pinch it out or make it smaller if you guys would like. And you see it's playing out and it's not moving because we selected Kim Burns in the iMovie first. So then we're going to select Mixer again and choose the first photo that you would like. So this is my first photo. You can move it down, flip it around, put it anywhere you like. You can pinch it to make it smaller or move it out to make it bigger. And yeah, so I'm just going to place my picture. And then I'm going to click Mixer again to go to the next picture and so on and so on. So basically right now, I'm just placing all three pictures. And like I said before, you just make sure that you hit that mixer button before because if you press the add button and do it that way, it won't work how you want it to work. So make sure you press the mixer button. And guys, I'm just placing my pictures as you can see. So next, we're going to get into animations. You go to animations um in and then you can choose any animation so i chose slide up so the pictures can slide up and i'm going to do the same thing for each photo i'm going to go to animations press in go over and push slide up and i'm going to do it for the third photo also and each of the photos will slide up at the same time just make sure that each photo is the same duration so they can all be, they can all slide up at the same time, like so. And then, so now we're going to add text. You just double tap, you go down the bottom and hit text, and then you double tap to write whatever you guys would like. So in this case, I'll write Quinne Connor because that's my YouTube channel name. and. You can edit. Um, they have fire, neon, electricity, gold, glitter, and they have water effect. You can also add animations, but let's choose which one. I think I want to choose gold. So you can move it, make it as big as you want. Um, same thing with the pictures. You can make it as small as you want. Just pinch out. And yeah, guys. Um, so then I'm going to go to animations and then I'll push in and I'll go to scale. They have scale, spin, flicker, slide, fade. You can choose whichever one you like. So I chose spin because I wanted to spin in, um, when all my stuff comes up. So guys, you see how it was overlapping my pictures. I just have to move. Um, my pictures down a little bit, but let's see how it looks. I'm going to play it So now we're just going to play it out to see if it's the look that I desire before I move on to the next So I'm just moving my pictures around to so guys I'm going to keep playing it to make sure that everything is in the right position before I move on to the next thing I'm also going to now move on because it's right i'm going to click on the twitter png then i'm going to go to go to chroma and click on the picture to remove the white from the background of the twitter png to make sure it looks like it belongs there so you can play around with it to see the look that you you desire to make sure you know that it doesn't look like it doesn't belong there and it floats in with your background. So I'm just going to make it, you can make it bigger or smaller. So now I'm going to add text and my name is I am Nurse Connor. So I'm going to add that in. Now I'm going to play around with the text to see which text I want to use for this slide. Um, they have plenty of text you can use. That's why I like this site because it's so universal. It has everything. But yeah, so now I'm going to play with the text. And as you can see, I'm just going through the font to make sure that I have the correct font for what I want to use. So you can make it bigger or smaller. It's your choice. You can put it up, down, on the side. It doesn't matter. 
Um, so now that I have everything in the right position, I'm going to go to effects and I'm choosing the fire effect, but they have multiple effects. Then you can go to animations, click in and choose the animation you would like to use for this particular text. So right now I'm just going to play it out to make sure that this slide is correct. Also, you have to do that with each slide to make sure that everything is right. I wouldn't recommend waiting to the last minute to make sure everything is right because you don't want to have to go back and redo the whole thing over. So now I'm going to click on the iPhone PNG and place it the same how I did the Twitter PNG. You can make it bigger or smaller, your choice. And I'm just going to go to the beginning to make sure everything is right now and play it out. So now I'm going to go to my Instagram and take a screenshot so I can use it for my iPhone. Now I'm going to go in my photos and just edit the photo so it won't have the top of my phone battery and everything in it. So you just go to edit and crop and crop it out at the top. And then I'm going to save it and go back to the editing app. So now I'm going to add the photo. Make sure you click mixer before you add each photo. Here's a photo I'm going to drag on top of the iPhone. And then you can make it smaller to make it fit in the iPhone. You can make it bigger or smaller, however you would like. But to make it look like it's in the iPhone, you just make it smaller by pinching it. I'm moving it all out to see how I like it. Pinch it in or pinch it out to get the look that you desire. Now I'm going to play it out to make sure everything is right. And you have to do this a lot. Now I'm going to go to my photos and click on the green screen. Now when the green screen comes up, you have to go to chroma again as you did previously in the earlier video. You have to go to chroma to make sure that everything, like the green part of the video, is not green. You want to make it so it looks like your background. So you're going to go to chroma and you're going to go into intensity in the same way. You did the Twitter PNG. This is the same way you're going to do the green screen. So as you can see, I moved it around and played with it so it can match my background and it won't have that big green space and it won't look like it doesn't belong there. So I'm just making sure everything is in order and I'm making sure that it's the least amount of green as possible before I move on to the next step. So I'm going to play it out. There it is, guys. So now I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to click the song that I would like to put onto my video. Now, guys, I can't um, video record this part or stop the video record for the sake of the video. But normally you would just video record. Oh, screen record. Sorry, guys. You would just screen record the song you like, and then you're going to go to, after you pick the song that you would like, you go to iMovie again and click on the song. Now I clicked on my recently added because I just added it, and I'm going to add it into my video. Now you see how I added the video in with the song? You guys don't want to do that. So you go back, you delete that, you go back, and you click the three little dots and click the audio only. So the audio will only be playing once. You guys, um, you know, add it to your video. And see, it's just audio. And I first laid eyes on you when I heard your heart.